What is up everyone? In this video, we're gonna cover physical gene. Before I show you my gene stats, let's go ahead and see how much damage she's gonna do to the open world. First, I want to try out my E. Okay, with the physical build. Okay, that was non-crit. So, wait, what? All right, 12K. About like almost a half the damage compared to her animal setting, right? How about Q? Q damage, let's go. 21k. It was very close to 40k when I had my animal setting. So compared to that, I would say this damage is a lot less. Obviously, minus 50%. That's a huge difference. However, she's going to be doing a lot of physical damage. Check this out to her, okay? Okay, 12k to the whooper flower. Oh, oh my. 5k non-crit. So in terms of physical damage, I would say this is not so bad. Okay, so that is like the preview for the physical gene. Like I said, physical build will help you progress in the beginning. But we wanted to know what would happen if we min-max C6 gene with the R5 weapon. So this is my stats. Right now, with no teammates, no pyro resonance, I would have 2233 attack with 66% critical rate, 142% critical damage, and we have 149% physical damage bonus. Okay, how is this possible? Well, I have 41% physical damage bonus from Nakula Favonia. And from the artifacts, I have 58% physical damage bonus, so that's about 100%. And on top of that, I have 2-piece Bloodstain and 2-piece Pale Flame Set. That gives her 50% physical damage bonus, so that's why I have something near 150% physical damage bonus. And for the artifacts, a lot of people try to use Gladiator Set because she does auto attacks, but this is what I think. Gladiator set gives you 35% normal attack damage and then 18% attack percentage, right? But you might want to do some charge attacks with Jean because her multiplier for charge attack is 277% at level 8. So if you want to do that, I think it'll be a lot better for you to go for physical damage bonus set. I was trying out 4-piece pale flame set for the review. However, the stack stays for 7 seconds and the cooldown for Gene E is 6 seconds. That means you can't get this 2 stacks all the time. So I would recommend you, if you're going for physical gene, use Bloodstained and Pale Flame Set. If you don't have them, totally fine. Go for Gladiator if you want. That's also fine. Just use whatever you have that has good substats. And this is my talent level. I have leveled up her auto attack to level 8. So she has this multiplier. 277% charge attack damage. So that is very interesting. And then her E. She would do some bonus animal damage. About 50%. But she can gather those monsters around. And then she can start attacking them with auto attacks. And Q, of course. This damage is almost halved. That is very sad. But that's totally fine. Let me add some character to her team. So, obviously, if you want to do physical damage, you would need superconduct. What would be a very good character? I would say, Fischl is a very solid character to have for superconduct. And Rosaria is always good. She gives additional critical chance from her Q, so this is always a good thing. So I have fixed her build. After using Q, she will be transferring that 15% critical rate to... Jean. So that Jean's crit rate will go up by 15%. That's gonna be like 80% crit rate. This is gonna be very good. And then for the last spot, we can add Zhao Li for the shield. And we can also add Klee for the maximized physical damage. So let's first use Klee. She's gonna have Drilling Tales of Dragon weapon. Okay, that's good. She doesn't have her artifacts. That means she's not gonna do too much damage. Okay, here we go. How about we take him to... Cryo Riz is fine. <laughs> it's always fun to test things out onto those elemental bosses. So I use E here. Rosaria E. Oh, I failed to use that behind this flower. So, okay, here we go. There was super conduct. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was good. I wanted to show you the crit rate after using Rosaria's Q, but I kind of failed. But I did have 80% critical rate in between, so this is okay. This is probably okay. So with min-maxed physical gene, this is viewable. However, can we actually use this against Primal Geo Bishop? Can she be the main DPS? If she can be, then I would say physical gene is good. I'm gonna use some tricks here because this guy is so fat, I won't be able to use E. To teleport from 
teleport and attack him from behind like this. So there's gonna make Q. Oh no. Okay. That's like AKE chit. I'm just gonna iframe this. Okay. Let's proc another superconduct for sake of Gene. Okay, 6k each. Okay. I'm getting hit so that I can do some Akula Favonia damage. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. If we do have team like this, I think it's gonna be quite good. But we kinda had to borrow the power of Klee. How about we come up with a realistic team with Zhang Li? Or I could use Sinyan. So a realistic team would be Superconduct combo, and then either Sinyan or Zhang Li. Can we try out Zhang Li here? And I'll try to take them to the four ring guards place because ring guards they have high physical resistance so if anything she would be doing real bad damage and she needs to suck like you have to look at it and be like okay this build is not viable but let's see if it's gonna be okay like the reason why i would approve razor is because if you build him right and main max him he's gonna be very strong how about gene we need to tank these missiles nice Oh no, don't you dare. Ah. Uh, okay. I need my shield back. Okay. This damage, right? Isn't so bad. It's not that great, of course. However... I would say, with this setting, this is viewable. Okay. Oh! Die! Okay. Oh no. Oh no. That was very close. Anyways, she's okay against ring guards. How about we take her to Storm Terror? That would be very interesting. And this time, I think I would like to use Xinyan. Actually, why don't we do it twice? With Song Li and Xinyan. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. 23k. Just autos. Alright. Next up, we're gonna try out the damage with Xinyan. The reason why I'm putting Xinyan is because of her talents. This one, it says when characters shielded by her E, deals 15% increased physical damage. And of course, at C4, it also decreases the opponent's physical rest by 15% for 12 seconds. So, compared to Zhong Li, Zhong Li reduces physical res by 20%, whereas Xinyan reduces physical res by 15%. However, she helps you do 15% extra physical damage. So, here we go. I'm hoping to do more damage. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm looking at some bigger numbers. Alright. So in terms of damage, of course, Sinyan is going to be better if you have her at C4. If not, all you're going to be doing is that 15% extra physical damage. I wouldn't say that's so much for Jean, especially when you have a Kula Favunia plus. Plus Dane set and Pale Flame set. You're going to have that 150% physical damage, right? So 15%, that's not going to be a lot of the damage increase. However, if you compare this team with Zhang Li, Xinyan is going to help you do more damage. This is an obvious thing, but let me remind you about why Akula Favonia is very good for physical DPS. 
When you get hit by opponents and it deals certain amount of attack as damage, it's white damage, which means it's physical damage. With all those physical damage bonus you have on the character, you're gonna do extra. So that's why Aquila Favonia is very good. Even if you do get hit time to time, just like me, it's actually good because it heals yourself. It also does damage. So I was kind of thinking, wait, what happens if I have this proper team? Like don't really use her for main DPS, but kind of have her as a sub DPS because of obviously in Genshin Impact, Melt and Vaporize is superior than just physical damage. So let's see how I would be using Jean. And also, I kind of wanted to compare her damage when I had my Bennett. So there will be no superconduct. So that means Jean's Q damage will not get affected by this. So Q, that was a non-crit. This is also non-crit. I don't like this. Let me just wait. 24k. Let me get the energies back. Oh, that hurts. I just want to see the damage for Jean's Q on Bennett's Q. Oh, guys. This is bad. Do you know why? Because before I was using Akula Favonia on Bennett, but now I'm using Summit Shaper. So the base attack, 674 to 608. However, it should be okay, right? Overall attack I get from the transfer, it shouldn't be so big, so let's just kind of neglect it. And also, to not waste too much time, I'm gonna be consuming 20% critical rate food. So if it's not so big, then that means it's gonna be better for us to go for physical DPS when we can. So, 20% crit rate. Final stats is gonna be 86% critical rate with the 142% critical damage. So sync 2, gonna Q, 20k. My Q, 35k. 35k. Okay. Come to think about it. It's not that bad. Get some stacks here and there. And Sing 2 should be able to use Q very soon. Okay. I get hit, but I got healed by Kula Favonia. And she is tanky. Because every time she does damage, she heals herself, right? And it also, if my HP is just too low, I can use Q as well. Okay, that's gonna be it. But, can I use Jean? Or can I recommend this Jean to people? Okay, hear this out. When you build her as physical, I would say it's least affected by her constellations. That means you could be using this build if you're F2P. However, if you're F2P, then you wouldn't be having Aquila Favonia. There's a very good chance you only have Jean. So can you still use Jean without Aquila Favonia? Well, obviously she's gonna be weaker. For physical Jean, of course, the best in slot weapon is going to be Akula Favonia. You could also be using Jade Cutter. You can also use Summit Shaper if you're gonna be pairing her up with a shield character. Perhaps Zhongli or Diona, which we got for free. They're gonna be good. Skyward Blade will also help her become a better support. But this is a physical Jean. We want her to be doing a lot of physical damage. So we can forget about Skyward Blade. Next up, you could be using Sacrificial Sword so that you can use E twice. But then again, it's gonna help her become a better support, so no. You can be using Black Sword, it's the Battle Pass web. There's nothing more I want to talk about it because it's always good. You can be using Black Cliff Sword. If you believe that you can keep your HP above 90% all the time, Harbinger of Dawn is also great for Jean. And then you can also craft Physical Damage Bonus Sword. That's always an alternative. If you have some good artifacts on Jean, she's gonna be viable in your team. She can be a sub DPS while she's healing your teammates. However, it would have been so nice if Mihoyo kind of tried to fix the physical damage problem instead of coming up with like Eula that breaks the game if you spend too much money on it. For example, if you go for C6 compared to C0, C6 Eula does massive amount of damage compared to C0 Eula. So I don't think Mihoyo is going to be fixing this physical damage problem. However, physical gene is viable when you have a good team. One downside of physical gene is that she is animal. That means you have to have some kind of a superconduct team. So minimum two characters to help her do more damage. 
She can use her E every 6 seconds. She creates a lot of particles for her. And she is the only character that shows armpit when you do charge attacks. So she's always good. She's got that booba. She's got the biggest bulge. So yeah. Did you guys enjoy my video? I had to min-max Jean and I also had to spend a lot of talent materials onto her. Although I'm not going to be using her for a long time. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel and leave some nice comments or what you think about Jean to support me. It helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you had a good time. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.